Earlier this year, the Hong Kong Rugby Union launched a new elite rugby programme, the country's first 15-a-side professional environment for their top players. First reason is to just keep on the pace of teams like Japan and Korea, you know, becoming more and more professional. We are the three kind of leading teams in Asia, so it's one about keeping on their shirt tails. And two, we did reasonably well um, in last World Cup, qualifying for the repechage. And I believe the powers to be thought, you know, with some investment and, and, and the right people kind of in situ, we could possibly qualify for the World Cup. Obviously, um, we, we are quite unique in Hong Kong in as much as we can call the guys in on a daily basis and then they go back and play for their clubs uh, on the weekend. So the geography works for us. So all the guys are in doing you know, some stringent conditioning programs, some st uh, contingent strength programs. We're already seeing significant gains in, in their gym work. Um, and we're also trying to improve their skill levels as well. Back home, that generally took uh, 18 months to two years. Uh, so I see the same process evolving here. The Asia Rugby Championship forms a key part of Hong Kong's development and they were looking to secure second place with victory over Korea in the final round. The preparation has been great with, with the professional guys, obviously. Uh, our problem lies in the fact that um, not all the guys are professional. You know, we, we still rely heavily on a, on a strong contingent of guys who work in the city. That means they can only train twice a week. So it's kind of getting the balance right for those guys who can train during the day and making sure we integrate those key guys from the city uh, in the evenings and just make sure everyone's on the same page. As you can imagine, they're, they're a bright audience, the Hong Kong audience, mostly professional guys, professional backgrounds, pilots, bankers, etc., etc. So intellectually, they're quite smart. They, you know, they take um, take new information on board, um, and their work ethic. You know, they, they they're successful in business. They want to be successful in sport, so they'll go the extra yard. Good, good training here, right, boys, but we need to go to war. Okay, we need to get the energy up. Win our own individual battles. Just stay, Dan. You're going to stay. Dan, Give you a big round of Nicely off the top, straight down to Shin. Jung, out the back, with a very powerful hard running midfield. Straight through goes Kim Sung Su. And now it's straight like that. Give me hot chips out to Lee Suk Yong. And they're in the corner after just five minutes. Good platform, and Ben Remini has just hit the jets and fly right by. Great ball. Outstanding ball. I'll go again. Mitchell can go for the double. Over, untouched. What an absolute beauty. Up goes Dip Todd Field and takes that one in nicely. There he goes away. again. Oh, Robinson, he'll Robinson. go the way. He can go the way. He does. It's a bit scruffy, but Robertson has benefited there. But try number six to Hong Kong. We're only nine months into a professional program, so we need to we need to lift the intensity, uh, work harder. Um, but that'll get uh, get more as we get more professional and into a into the program. 제 생각에는 이제 홍콩이 발전한 것보다는 그냥 여러 가지 스트럭처 시스템 그런 자체들이 되게 잘돼 있어 가지고. 특히 어, 라인아 그런 것도 잘돼 있고 선수들이 어떻게 수비하는 거 그런 조직력이 좀더더 더 발전했다고 생각합니다. 제 생각에는. Boys are transitioning. Most of the guys had full-time jobs before this, so transitioning into professional uh, environment is going to take a bit of time. But uh, guys are working harder, getting fitter, stronger. So we just need to keep working in that direction, and uh, you'll see big improvements from us.